being out here and having to make money out here, have you ever like, you know, um, let's say, had to get in a car? I've never gotten hurt, but I've been in many cars, yes. Oh yeah, I've gotten in cars. You know, I've had people walking down the street ask me, am I working? You know, no, nuh-uh. But if, there's car, if they're in a car, yeah. And one guy asked me, I was walking to uh, AMPM last night yeah. to get cigarettes. And a guy asked me, he said, I got $100 and I got hard. And he wanted me to go into an alley with him. And I said, oh, hell no. I said, you can find somebody crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I like hard, but not that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, take me in an alley. I thought that was nuts. I said, what are you, crazy? I know. I said, That's he offered me $100. I didn't trust that at all. At all. Mm -hmm. There's girls out there will do it for 10 bucks. You know? No. And some girls out there would go into that alley for $10 with him. Not me. Not me. <laughs> no. It's like you could find that, but not him. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. If I'm going to make him happy, he's going to make me happy. Now give me $10. <laughs> $10 ain't going to make me happy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No. And you OD'd last night. Yeah. So how many times a day you got to get high? You keep, um, it, you keep up with it. I just get high all day. I just keep doing it. You know? All day. And do you, you sniff it? No, I shoot it. You shoot it? Yeah. And I started shooting too. And I didn't do that since last November. And I started up again like three days ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three days ago. Well, I know that if I lose my children and my bestie, I know for a fact that I would really be not getting high. Not, not like I am, you know? Do you, did you lose your children to the system or just, no, you just, they grew they up? No, they know that, I got, uh, that I'm using drugs and they don't want nothing to do with me. Nothing. No, none of them. So... Do you have that hope, though, if you do get help? I don't think they'll ever talk to me. Because I've relapsed so many times after, you know, a few months being clean, I'd relapse one night, they'd find out, and, you know, what a disappointment I am. Well, it was a relapse. It was one night, you know. But then as, I, as one child after the next after the next, just started not talking to me and not answer my calls, telling me that they don't want to talk to me whether I'm clean or not, then I Do you just wake said, up with it. that thought in your head, oh, I want to go out and get hot today? No. No. I just wake up and... and now it's too much. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Numb yourself. Because of all the pain, it could be yeah, hard. Yeah, I, I got a lot of pain. <laughs> and, yeah. like, so health problems out here. Yeah. Your abscesses. Yeah. Any, all that. Yeah. Abscesses. There's, um, there's, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, something else is going around. I mean, besides the COVID pandemic, yeah, but. there's something going around. Nah, I forget what it is, but it's like staph, staph infection. Oh, like a staph that. infection. Like Mercer? <laughs> It's not mercy that I'm thinking of, but yeah, it's like that. You know? There's all kinds of shit going around. And they put um, tranquilizer in the dope, and that knocks you out. Yeah. You know? Right, yeah. And there's not Narcon for Trank. Yeah, you know? some and people call it Trank. They say it's elephant tranquilizer. They well, call it. Elephant yeah. It, if it's for an elephant, that's pretty fucking potent shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but say okay, like they got that shit, and now you just said you started mainline and again well, right. using you know right. a needle again. Mm -hmm. So using that, I've seen girls, dudes, anybody walking around with their arms all bandaged yeah. up. Yeah. This one guy lost his finger. Oh, I know a girl lost her arm on the railroad tracks a few weeks back, and she went to the hospital. I think she stayed for three or four days. She wanted to hit a crack, so she left the hospital. 
and she had her arm taken off. Like they had her on on morphine um, and everything probably up in there. Dilaudid and like they had her on four different things. Yeah. And she still left the hospital. Yeah. Because she wanna crack. People don't like to call it a disease. It's a disease. You're addicted. Like, I don't care if it's cocaine, crack, or or heroin, or or fentanyl. You're addicted. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's a disease. I don't know everybody. I know people that can do lines of coke on the weekends and then not do oh, it again cool. for a long time. Yeah. You know? Not me. I go on binges. Binges. Binges, I yeah. Binge. yeah. Sometimes my binge might last a couple days. Sometimes my binge might go on for weeks. Yeah. You know? So I'm too skinny again. Yeah. <laughs> no. I just gained, I guess it was almost 20 pounds. And I think I lost it. <laughs> I think I lost it in like two weeks. Yeah. It's just crazy. Yeah. It's all crazy. It's of food. Nobody thinks buy food when you, when you want to get high. I would buy like that 25 cent, you know, little yeah, Debbie right? cake. That's <laughs> it. Uh, For a whole Debbie's. day, though. Little For a whole Debbie's. day. Yeah. You know, but um, it's just crazy. Um, a lot of people think, you know, you want to just come out here and, and just do this, like I said, every morning. And it's not that us as addicts, we choose to do this every day. Every day, you know, we have that monkey on our back. No. That monkey don't ever fucking leave, man. Yeah. And as I'm interviewing JoJo here, I happen to see somebody over there in a tent. Living in a tent, living on the ground. Living on the bando steps. Porches. Did you ever think about getting on, like, maybe... um? clinic suboxone anything yeah, like that i i called the suboxone program and they said call back i answered all their questions they said well call us back in a few minutes and when i called back in a few minutes they said well you need to call tomorrow well, fuck just call us day after day yeah. you know what i mean like they call in a moment when they want to get it you know, they want yeah. to get on it. But then the next day, you know, it's I'm like, always thinking about it every day. You know, I didn't call back. I didn't even have a phone to call back. So I had to find the person, again, that had the number that let me use their phone. You know, I don't have a phone out here. You know, I just wish, my wish for every like any addict that wants to get clean that's why i want to bring awareness to out here yeah. and being a fucking female out here is fucking hard it's hard being anybody out here is hard there you go being anybody out here is really hard i mean females can go make money on broadway and get their drug the males what do they do commit crimes steal rob you know Please don't bother you when you're on Broadway either. All the popular areas where the us girls stand. Yeah. Don't bother us. Don't question us. Yeah. It's like a free for all. It's like back in the day they would arrest you, and now you know the jail isn't a jail anymore. It's a rehabilitation right. jail. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like. But they ain't even trying to get people back. You know? They ain't yeah. trying to get people back. Jails don't want people. <laughs> they don't want me. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted me, I'd be locked up. <laughs> Telling you, man. Like, you know, and it's just the fact that every time I try, I did a couple out here a couple months ago. And like I said, I asked them if I could give it to you right now you know, a bed in a treatment center. What'd you do? He, like, I'd go right now. Yeah. There, there, I was over there in January and I had Chrissy.
Christians come up to me and ask me to go to their place. It was in um, Millville. It was uh, Victory Homes. I went there. I thought that it was going to be a rejoiceful thing that you find God and you know singing and stuff like that. It was not like that at all. It was harsh. I mean, the girl was rough, like tough on me. Like you know, we went to Walmart and she made me stay this close to her the whole time. And you know, when I brushed my teeth, I had to sing the alphabet. And when I washed my hands, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Oh shit. Like, so you get no, no assistance, SSI, nothing? No, S uh, SSD? nothing at all. No checks coming in, nothing. So you, yeah, you got to make your so money every money. day, all day. <laughs> well, because I know the people that do get their money, they're usually at the thing at 12 midnight anyway. Right. That money's gone by n not even two hours later. Right. Right. But I mean... I mean, I don't know. Whatever else you want to get off your chest, get it off. Just say it, girlfriend. Um. I just, Like, what do you want to put out to people, other people, like, about anything? Don't start nothing, won't be nothing. Don't get started on it. If you get started on it, you're no different than anybody else. You're going to get hooked. You're going to be out here. And you're going to be selling your body. To get more and you're desperate for more so just don't start don't don't get it started because it ain't worth it, it ain't worth it at all all right well, you want to sign off with amen. anything amen <laughs> yeah right. thank you i appreciate it i'm i'm i don't want to get too deep 